Hello everyone, my name is Zach and welcome to On Cash Flow, where I help you become a master of your own cash flow. Now let's get started. JL Collins and his stock series is largely responsible for where I am today. And that's a good thing. <laughs> his lessons on simple investing have definitely made a big impact in my life and how I choose to manage my own investments. And more specifically, his stock series, a series of blog posts about investing, is what we're going to discuss today. Let's first start out with the obvious here. What is the JL Collins stock series? Well, it's simply just a collection of blog posts that were kind of organically made, not really in like any kind of sequence, but kind of like randomly put together that ended up being a really good foundation for individual investors on how to invest. So currently, as I looked it up, there's 36 posts that are associated with the stock series on JL Collins' website. And the main gist of it is that it explains how to invest and gain wealth almost on the most simplest path to wealth. And it includes all kinds of different concepts, you know, as spending and debt and investing and all of that kind of rattled into one. But the main concept, the main theory here is just simple investing and how to gain a significant amount of wealth so that you can become financially independent. The author of the blog, which is JL Collins, that's his name, he heavily influenced how I personally invest and how I personally like to share information on how other people might want to invest if they want to gain wealth in a very simple way. And that's why in my video where I created a full guide, like a complete guide to investing your way to financial independence, a lot of the concepts are very similar and a lot of them are inspired by this series of blog posts. But we'll talk more about that later. First, let's get on to who is JL Collins? Like, who is this guy? <laughs> well, as far as I know, I don't know him personally, unfortunately, but as far as I know, he's a wise gentleman that has been investing for a very long time and he's made a lot of mistakes himself. And at the end of, you know, decades of investing, he realized himself that index fund investing is the way to go and it's probably one of the best ways for everyone. And so he started documenting a lot of his stuff on how he could share with his daughter, like how she should be investing. So he was kind of like, trying to teach her how to invest or what she should do in order to set herself up for her future. But he also wanted a way that he could like catalog this and just keep it, you know, very well documented. And he started kind of putting his information in blog posts. But over the years, it got kind of popular and actually got started searching and people started sharing it and stuff like that. So his like letters to what he was writing to his daughter ended up being viewed by millions of people. And I believe he first started writing back in 2011 when he, when he created his blog. And since then, it has received millions of views. He's even put like a lot of the information and like condensed it into a nice, easy to read book known as The Simple Path to Wealth. And since then, he's just kind of become known as a pioneer in the financial independence space when it comes to investing. He's become known as the grandfather of Phi. <laughs> Maybe that's uh, akin to his age as compared to most of us that are in the financial independence community. I don't know. <laughs> but that really is, you know, the very short summary on who JL Collins is. And if you want to know more, you can go right to his website, jlcollinsnh.com, and he has an about page on there. Out of all of his posts that he's written on there, especially in the stock series, like his uh, 36 posts in the stock series, I think that the most important post that he wrote about was the one where he tells you to like this video. <laughs> okay, maybe he didn't write a post about that just yet, but he should. <laughs> so please like this video if you're enjoying it so far. I really appreciate that. And I know it would also help you out as well, just as much as it would help me out. So please hit the like button. But let's go ahead and actually move on to the stock series. And instead of going over all 36 of those posts, which you should just probably go and read a lot of them for yourself, instead of doing that, let's just go over some notable ones or some notable concepts that came out of those 36 posts that are located within the stock series on his website. So some of the most influential ones for me, uh, I'm gonna have to read off like some of the titles here for you. So let me get my uh, iPad out. So some of the most influential ones for me was the stock market always goes up in the long run. Okay, so the stock market always goes up. You hear that and you're like, what the heck? No, it doesn't. The stock market doesn't always go up. It's down right now. Like as I make this video, it's down like 15% year to date or something like that. <laughs> so you think to yourself, wait, the stock market doesn't always go up. But what he means by that is <laughs> a lot more nuanced. He means over the very long term periods, like over 30 year periods, over 40 year periods, 50 year periods, the stock market has always gone up. And if you look back at historical data, that is true. So is that going to be true in the future? I don't know, but it has been so far for the entire history of the stock market. The stock market has always gone up. Another really Really notable one he has on there is to keep it simple just pretty much invest in VTSAX and just chill <laughs> VTSAX being Vanguard's total stock market index fund or you could say VTI which is the ETF version which is what I personally invest in pretty much the same thing just uh, in a slightly different form and within that he says to just have a super long-term mindset don't think of the market in terms of day-to-day -day, month to month year to year think of it as in multiple years 30 40 50 60 and a lifetime and beyond your lifetime think about investing in that 
kind of sense. A really notable post in there is about investment managers and why he doesn't like investment managers and how you need to be investing your own money. You need to be managing your own money. And that's because you can definitely keep fees low and because no one else cares about your money. No one else cares about your wealth as much as you do. And so that's why you should be managing your money on your own, especially because that's going to keep the fees low. And if you do follow the simple path, then you really don't even need to know that much. <laughs> it's true. You don't really technically need to know that much. Some other great topics he talks about on the stock series is with international funds, investing in international companies, should you or should you not, investing in bonds, when to invest in bonds. And he calls out the asset preservation stage rather than the accumulation stage. He talks about how much you should hold in cash, why or why not to invest in REITs, that's real estate investment trusts. So he has topics on all of those different kinds of investments. But honestly, at the end of the day, if you keep it as simple as possible, then you probably will gain a substantial amount of wealth in the long run. He also talks about the different accounts, like the Roth accounts, 401ks, HSAs, and he even has some early retirement strategies in there. He even mentions the Roth IRA ladder, which I believe was originally popularized by the mad scientist, uh, which is also the method that I personally use for my financial independence strategy, the Roth IRA ladder. Now, with all of those topics already being discussed, believe it, those are, I think, some very important topics, but there's so much more within the stock series. So I honestly think that you should be reading it or at least read through some of those posts that are on there. And I want to know from you in the comments below, have you already read the stock series? Have you heard of the stock series from JL Collins? Have you read any of those blog posts on there? Have you read his uh, book, The Simple Path to Wealth? Please let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious to know because I have read his stock series in the past and I've also read his book and I'd highly recommend it. I especially recommend the book to most people who are just getting started. But seriously, a lot of these concepts that I've put into my complete guide to investing for financial independence were influenced by JL Collins and his blog. If you want to know and you want to see my complete guide to investing your way to financial independence, I strongly recommend you do. It's going to pop up right next to me at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Zach from oncashflow.com and I hope to see you next time.